I believe that she will win. I believe that she will win. But no matter how loud they chanted, it wasn't to be. Instead, shock and a stunning defeat for Democrat Hillary Clinton. Life as we know, it's going to be different now. Volunteers who gave hours and even years to Clinton sat in silence. While most pre-election polls pointed toward the first female president, in the end, voters spoke and revealed a larger problem nationwide. This is showing that there's this huge divide between sort of uh, uneducated whites and minorities and educated whites. For a time, they sat embracing, consoling. Then they waited for their leader to give encouragement and finality to this night. But Hillary Clinton would not appear. Campaign manager John Podesta. Several states are too close to call, so we're not going to have anything more to say tonight. But by that time, Trump was nearing the 270 electoral votes needed to win, narrowing the chance of victory for Clinton. I don't think she accepted it yet, which I find pretty hypocritical because she was just getting on Mr. Trump for not wanting to accept the results. I thought she owed it to the people that showed up here and it worked for her for so long and so earnestly. In the end, Clinton called Donald Trump to concede and congratulate him on his victory. People are here leaving shocked, knowing that history will be made tonight, not in the way they had hoped. At the Javits Center in New York City, Carolyn Crisuti, VOA News.